Extra special warning! Our hosts do no research and preparation for these movies. They are just two cynical douchebags. They think just because they have ten years of bad TV under their belts, they are qualified to review these horrible movies. Hey everybody, Burton Gutter here. We're here with another one of the worst movies on Netflix! This week's movie is crap. Boring fucking phase four fucking crap. Oh, and like, you know, you, like you couldn't tell as soon as you saw Phase 4, you were like, no. motherfucker. It's like we said before, it it's came the, asylum. the new asylum. The movies where like we can't escape. Drink. <laughs> we can't escape Phase 4 and whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. It's a Phase 4 film and it's also a Mad Crapper film. Mm, <laughs> that crapper. was just a Mad Crapper film, okay? It's called Mad Crap Film. Mad Crap. <laughs> and it starts off... Well, I guess I should say the name of the movie is Jack the Reaper. Jack the Reaper. Not Jack the Raper or Ripper, Jack the Ripper. Whatever. It's Jack the Reaper. Duh. And it starts off with this car crash way back in the fucking day. Yep. With a car already on its side. It looks like Very it was somebody's. Nice car, though. Well, it was yeah, like somebody started working on it, but they never finished it. So they're like, yeah, yeah. you can put it on its side for your film. And it, he was like Kmart Rick from Walking Dead. And he was like, hey! He was all dressed like a seaman. Yeah. And then his chick got got by some random. Reaper. Yeah. Jack. The Jack Reaper. the Reaper got him, and then he was like, no. And then he, he got caught. And, and then, yeah, present day. Ads. Present day. Yeah. And in the present day, we get to see a high school parking lot yeah. with a school bus pulls up. And then for like 10 minutes, we get to meet students and their parents and whatever as they're all showing up to go on yeah. this field trip. Half the movie, look, I'm going to break it down. Half the movie was them loading the bus. And then the on half the movie bus. Them driving the bus. <laughs> then the other half, them getting to a carnival. And then they all die. And a movie done. Yeah, basically. But we'll yeah. get into a little bit more detail than that, right? Do we need to? So though? yeah, no, not fucking really. <laughs> but we can't because this, re this review would be two minutes long if we didn't. So while we're waiting for all the kids to show up, there's this one girl and her boyfriend, and she tells him horribly, horribly acted that she's pregnant, yeah, and there's some like, horrible oh, drama oh, back and forth, yeah. blah blah, fucking bad acted, blah. She's like, oh, you don't want to be a father? He's like, not really, <laughs> you know. And then uh, that was it. Yeah, she basically kicks him out of the car, fucking whips him off and leaves. Yeah, basically. Then they took like the two characters from fucking uh, Varsity Blues with Kmart and Paul Walker and that one, the, the black kid it was the uh, the running back. I can't remember his name. Yeah, whatever. But uh, yeah, you know, they brought them two characters on. Yeah, they, they brought in this. The typical, and all, you know, like they could like, okay, you're going to be a typical football douche, but we're going to give you a cheap jersey which is the number five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we got them. We got the fat kid with the awful grandmother that's telling oh, man, them. Oh, was all, horrible. Yeah, all the all of the other students are lobotomized fox. Fox and fuck them, brick cocksuckers. Yeah, basically. He was like, okay, nanya, okay. And then we have other students. There's like this the one Kmart deaf girl. Fat Oswald, the fatter. No, that was way fatter. <laughs> way fatter. But yeah, there's this deaf girl, this girl that they call a slut. That I guess wasn't a slut, it doesn't Not fucking really matter. Much a slut, but. And whatever, they all get on the bus and then they ride on the bus for what feels like 10 Four fucking and hours. Four, yeah. And they get to this railway museum because they were learning about the fucking industrial revolution, what fucking ever. But they get to this they railway museum. Chains. So they get to the railway museum and Tony Todd comes out, you know, fucking Candyman, the dude that's in every fucking horror movie ever fucking made. He comes out and he is like the tour guide, but he's not dressed like a tour guide. He's dressed like a fucking he art dealer. Seem like the, yeah, he doesn't seem like a tour guide for a fucking railroad. He's got a really nice suit on with a nice tie and a fucking scarf on. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not really sure, you know, but he was just a creepy, you know, like creeping up behind the kids, grabbing kid by the fucking shoulder, like, you know, yeah. that guy there is Jack, and he was like, okay, I don't fucking care. So, yeah, they, the fat little uh, creepy girl. That's the railroad yeah, man. Because I saw everybody's him on acting the side in this was stiff as hell. They talk like this. They're like, that is Jack the Reaper. He's like, ooh, okay. Fat little girl turns around. Mom's like, come on, honey. Did you have fun creeping out Kmart Johnny Depp? And she was like, yes, mommy. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. All the kids leave the railroad museum. The bus gets in a car wreck. Oh, no. They all wake up, and there's a fucking carnival in the distance. So they get out of the fucking well, you school spread bus. that word out. Like, yes. distance. So they get out of the school bus, and they go to the carnival. And there's not a single fucking person there. Yeah. And so whenever I think, oh, I would go into a carnival in the middle 
middle of the fucking desert and no one's there, I'm going to turn the fuck around and go back to the bus. Yeah, especially if you don't see it, all of a sudden the lights light up, but there's nobody manning anything. Let's go to that. So Why basically, not? for the next 20 minutes, it's these kids walking around this carnival, riding rides, but playing carnival it games. Like, it wasn't blah, like blah, a blah, real carnival. Blah. They wanted to make it like a real carnival. They could have had all the fucking little carnies coming out of nowhere like, hey, 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 play my game, play my but game. But that's, not, right the, here, but that's right not the point. The no, point was it to be empty. So they I just know. run around and they fucking play games and do whatever, blah, blah, fucking blah. Carnies. Until some people start fucking dying, right? <sighs> you know what? Nothing happened. It was just dumb. Yeah, but well... I they bored the shit out of you through the whole fucking movie, and then at the end they expected you to be interested. By that time, you were already like, "Fuck." But yeah, this whatever. Eyeless Jack the Reaper's running around killing people. Blah blah fucking blah. And you didn't care. And then you find out the fucking twist. You know what? I'm skipping over all of it. Fucking fuck it, right? Skip it all of it. Yeah, because I don't fucking care. And this review is gonna end. I don't care how short it is. I don't care how because crappy trust it me, is. You're like, you'd probably be like, "Oh, come on, guys." No, no, no. If you watch this movie, trust me, you're gonna be having the same fucking reaction. You'd be like, "Fuck." So the Shyamalanian twist is that when the school bus wrecked, all the kids were fucked up, right? And as right. they were getting killed by Jack the Reaper, they were dying in real life. Right. So all the carnival stuff happened in the afterlife or whatever. Yeah. So the one girl that survived the the carnival by not leaving the bus, uh, she was the survivor at the end. Oh, which one was that? Because they pulled her out of the fucking... The, the troubled one that the dad was molesting, it seemed. Oh, give me a kid, Give yeah. daddy a give kiss. Give daddy a kiss while I was rubbing her leg and shit. Yeah. And I love how student teacher guy or whatever the fuck he was, sees, you know, like, you know, knows that this he, he is going on, and he on, but he still nods, nods to the father, like, good job molesting your daughter, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, basically, that was it. Like, all the stuff that happened after the car wreck or the bus wreck, that was all... Yeah. Yeah, you after, like, yeah, I don't fucking fuck care. Fuck this movie, man. <laughs> Like it was, it was just. Give me piss. fucking Goza and fucking. I know. Gourmet fucking something, chef from fucking hell or whatever. Something that uh, Gata had pointed out earlier while we went outside and was trying to wash our brains of this was just like, you know what? Netflix movies that we've been picking or have been watching or whatever. We've had a bad run of fucking exactly. movies. But you know what? They're all the same. They all fucking blow. You know. I mean, at least yeah, the, the YouTube, YouTube movies ones are yeah. fun. Yeah. You know, to a certain point. You know, but, but like, these the the, are last dumb. Six YouTube movies. Because I mean, all Netflix this movie movies are tried just, to eh. do was take scenarios from all popular movies Other and movies, mix them together. Yeah. It was like Jeepers Creepers, fucking you know what else? There was a there was a Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, the it, creepers. Does, it does it doesn't fucking matter. You know, it was just blah, a blah, jumbled blah. mess. And then he took Varsity Blues and tried to mix that in there with the two characters. They tried to mix all kinds of shit in there. Trump and like teams, yeah, mix it, mix, blah, make blah, this. Blah, 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 blah. It was this um, took, campfire tales. Exactly. They took all the fucking characters that you've seen before and threw in a movie and thought you might be interested. But no, if you can't take the fucking douchebag quarterback, you know, or whatever the fuck he was, yeah. you know, with his friend who's kind of a douche with him, but then again, it's he's the same nice time, when he's, he's not nice, around him. Exactly. Yeah. You know, they took all the scenarios, threw it in, and thought you might be interested. No, you're not going. Look, I fuck you. I fucking hate it. Like whoever's picking these movies for Netflix. Oh, I'm going to say whoever's picking these movies. I'm like, that's me. No, I don't, <laughs> not you. I'm saying like Netflix needs to stop. Okay. Like I like it. I mean, that's the whole point of or movie on Netflix. Like if we didn't have. That, we wouldn't have that. Yeah. But at least make them fun movies. Yeah, like know? Birdemic and fucking like, yeah. The Room or exactly. fucking um, Miami Connection. Yeah, what's it? Um, Hellgate. Hellgate was fucking awesome. Yeah, all those. You know, that was hilarious. Any old Fred Olin Ray, any old Jim Wynorski, those. Hell yeah. Those, or, those, or, those. Or Jean Roulon. Oh, there, there's still other Jean Roulon movies I, you know, we I, have I hate to say it, and you can smack me now for saying it, but <laughs> I would Lama? much rather watch a Yuli Lama movie. Or a U-Ball. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. No, but you know what? I'd rather watch a Yuli Lama movie than a U-Ball movie. If there was a, 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 a sequel to, to The Room, I would watch it. If there was a sequel to fucking K.Y. Kim's uh, Miami Connection, I would watch it, you know? But not this movie. Not Phase 4 ever again. We're swearing off Phase 4. Uh, I don't know, because Phase, I am. phase 4 can kind of be hit and miss. I mean, they're always all bad, but remember Total Retribution? That was a Phase 4, yeah, and that was kind of fun. Kind of. But they're trying know? to take, they're trying to like, it's almost like they're trying to compete with fucking Asylum, asylum but with no money. You know, with no money. With even less money than Asylum has. Right. But even if they do, it's like, you know, they have everything going for them in the sense that they had good sound, they had good 
good uh, uh, video. Like it's not wasn't terrible. But then the story, the acting, everything else is crap. So if you have two good elements, but then you fill with crap, your movie's gonna suck ball. Sorry. I don't really have anything else to say about this. <laughs> not I think really. I'm done. Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. done too. Sorry, everybody. All right, but yeah. Anyway, that was another one of the worst movies on Netflix. Just skip it. Yeah, just skip, skip it. it. Don't skip don't it. worry about this one. Watch any of our worst movies on YouTube movies. Yeah. Other than this. Other than this. Yeah. I mean, cause you'd I'd rather watch. Ro I'd rather watch, watch Rock and Roll Space Patrol, I'd Snoopy watch Green, Drive. any of that fucking I'd stuff. I'd rather watch, watch Monkey Sling Poo at the zoo. You know. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Well, we're not really <laughs> that far over, but okay. Yeah. Today's movie was so boring, just so, but uh, I had to bust out a goddamn energy drink. I can't even drink my fucking film and beer. Because <laughs> if I keep, if I didn't, this is how my voice would be the whole way through the review. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Get my worst movies on Netflix face on. Get your juices flowing. So whatever, all the kids leave the rail rape. All rail the kids, rape. Yeah. The Shyamalanian like twist at the end of this is all the kids died, or they were all in the car in the vet. Fuck.